All right. This review is for the Elite Overhead Phone Mount. Um, it's a good mount. I like the the arms. They're very strong. You know, opening it up is a lot easier than closing it. it takes a little bit of pressure, but um, it definitely holds the phone. It can definitely hold something heavier. Um, there's no question about it. Um, I like it. The only issue that I have with this is this mount here and it not being like a ball style mount. Uh, because when you have this up and this just slips down in here, um, tightening this bolt doesn't really tighten. You know, you can still move this around. It's good. It's not bad. Um, you can get it tight enough to where it takes a little bit of pressure to move it, but you'll never get it to where it's actually going to stay where it is. So you always have the chance of bumping this thing unless you mount it on that side of the bench and have it facing this direction to hold the phone. Um, but when you have the phone in this piece, and I don't like it having it upside down because then you have this thing in front of the screen. I like to see the screen and see what it is that it's filming. Uh, so normally I would have it the opposite way. Um, I have an older LG G6 with a OtterBox case, and this thing can hold it. It's very strong, um, but it opens up wide enough. I'll put the measurements in the description. I think it says it in their description, so... Um, but you also get this piece here that mounts it to the bench. I think you have about two and three quarters of an inch between this piece and the top. Um, but then, you know, once it's in the bottom of this, you lose about maybe a half an inch with the, the base of this. So you have about, I would say, no more than two inches uh, to tighten it down. And this works pretty well. Once you tighten it down really tight and squeeze this foam here, it holds the mount pretty, pretty good. You know, even moving it around and pulling the arms out and everything uh it works you know like i said the only issue is that this is not a ball mount i have a smaller ball mount for a camera tripod that i put on here um and then attached this to that and it makes this big contraption off to the end but this thing is still strong enough to hold both of those together and that made this thing a lot more useful you can spin this thing out so that you can turn the phone a little bit and it has little positive locking stops in that spot and, and you know back in that normal location it's not the greatest way to get that angle you know that's that's the problem so if the phone is out there and you know you're trying to get it to where it's it's square with you um it's not that easy with this little mount you can do it but it's it's not that great um this thing has a cold shoe mount on the end of it so i guess you could put a light in here um as long as it's not too heavy um this thing should be able to handle it quite well um it does also have these little channels which is nice the power cords for cameras you can run through this little channel and then down in the bottom it's got this little piece here that i don't know if that's what it's meant for but it, it definitely works you can run a cable underneath there and it keeps the cable out of the way of the camera it doesn't sag down um that part i, I do like as well uh, but the arm itself is strong. It's nice. It's not cheap. Um, it definitely works quite well and can hold quite a bit of weight. I like that it doesn't have the springs on the outside. I have an older light, a work light, um, that has the older springs on the outside, and the thing does not stay up very well. It definitely can't handle a lot of weight. Um, and this piece here, you have to tighten this down quite a bit if you have something heavy on it. Otherwise, it moves quite a bit. Um, and then... You know, tightening this piece on is a little tricky as well. It loosens up on me every once in a while, moving it around. But, um, you know, if you use a, a small pair, I use a, like a Leatherman. And once it's on there, I tighten it with the Leatherman, grab it and spin it so that it, it tightens nice and tight against this thing and holds it in place quite well. But definitely worth the money um, if you're looking for overhead shots with the phone or even a camera. I've used a small uh, imitation GoPro um, screwed directly onto the, this piece here, and it worked very well. So I would definitely recommend it. Um, yeah, hope that helps. Thank you.